Okay, so the diagram A, B, and C represent the arrangement of particles in the three states of matter. So we have A, B, and C. Then we ask I, which of the diagrams above represents solid, liquid, and then gas. So this for the A, the A represents liquid, B represents solid, C represents gas. This give reasons for your answer in I. Okay, so I'll start with the B. So with the B, the particles are closely or tightly packed. Then I'll move on to the C. With the C, the particles are loosely packed. Then I'll move to the A. Then for the A, the particles are moderately packed. Now the I, I, I says give two differences between A and B. A and B. So with A, the particles are moderately packed. Then with B, the particles are closely or tightly packed. With A, it can flow easily. Or is a fluid. But B, B cannot flow easily. Then Ivan, state three characteristics of A, B, and C. So, I'll start with B. I'll say that the particles are closely packed. It cannot flow. It also has a definite shape. With A, it can flow. It takes the shape of its container and then it has a fixed volume. With C, it can be compressed. The particles are loosely packed and it can flow. Then Vince says, give two examples of A, B, and C. So A is a liquid. So with the liquid, we have honey and we have oil. Now with B, we have a pen and we have a stone. Then with C, it's a gas. We have oxygen. We can also have carbon dioxide. So these are assignments for this section. Kindly put your answers in the comments.